Hello, good morning, one and everyone. Analysis of time series, chapter number 4 in statistics, statistics part 1. This is one of the important method, which is known as method of least square. Method of least square for fitting a straight line train. This is the given data. Year and profit in lakhs of rupees. 2011, 2012, 2013, 14 and 15 and profit in lakhs of rupees 31, 35, 39, 41 and 44. Fit means method of least square and obtain the straight line train. Also calculate, also calculate the train values for each year and estimate the same means estimate the train for the year 2017. We have to prepare the table. See, chapter number 4, time series, this is most important method and section E or F, one example of same time can be asked of 4 marks or 5 marks. You must prepare this table for this method. Year and time T, year 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15 and time period T, first year, second year, third year, fourth year and fifth year. Data Y of profit means in lack of rupees 31, 35, 39, 41, 44 the given data whether it is production or whether it is sale, whether it is profit, turnover or whatever thing then prepare the column of t square and t into y product is there, multiplication of t and y t square square of number 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 you know very well then multiplication t into y 31 multiply by 1 31 35 multiply by 2 7 0 70 39 multiply by 3 1 1 7 41 multiply by 4 1 6 4 44 multiply by 5 2 20 10 make the total make the summation total of t 50 total of y 190 Total of T square 55, total of TY, T into Y, T and Y multiplication 602. After prepare this table up to this, compute T bar and Y bar. T bar is nothing but average value of T and Y bar is nothing but average value of Y. T bar means sigma T upon N. Sigma T means 15 upon N. N means 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 n equal to 5 therefore 15 by 5 which is equal to 3 sigma y 190 190 upon 5 38 this way y bar and t bar can be computed this is one of the important method most important method of this chapter time series analysis which is known as method of least square and the equation of the straight line trend is given by y cap t equal to a plus bt y cap t or y t cap equal to a plus bt in which a and b are constant constant value can be calculated as this way b and a b is given by n time sigma t y minus inside the bracket sigma t into sigma y upon in the denominator n time sigma t square minus inside the bracket sigma t whole square or complete square now substitute the various values sigma t y is nothing but 602 c means 5 times n means 5 5 times 602 minus sigma t into sigma y sigma t means 15 sigma y 190 15 multiplied by 190 upon means in the denominator 5 sigma t square is square total 55 5 multiplied by 55 minus sigma t whole square sigma t is nothing but 15 15 whole square be careful about the time of calculation means if one of the mistake is that then whole calculation whole example can be wrong means Four minimum four marks. Six zero two into five three zero one zero fifteen multiplied by one ninety two eight five zero 
5 multiplied by 55, 275, 15 whole square, 225. The simplification will give you answer as 160 upon 50. Subtraction of these two is 50 and subtraction of these two is 160. Answer will be 3.2. Therefore, the value of B is 3.2. From this, we can compute A. A means Y bar minus B by T bar. A means Y bar minus B into T bar. See, this method, method of least square, is almost the same as almost same as chapter number 3 regression analysis regression line of violence we have studied so far and the same the similar procedure is that y bar 38 see y bar 38 t bar 3 b value 3.2 3.2 into 3 9.6 the subtraction of these two quantities is 28.4 therefore a is 28.4 and b is 3.2 this is important calculation. After completing this table, A and D substitute here. Y cap T equal to A plus B T. This is the one of the standard form. Standard form of the equation of the straight line train by the method of least squares. A 28.4, B 3.2, T. Now, calculation of train values we have to show for each and every year. But for the convenience purpose, we take only one year. The remaining all year calculation can be shown by using this method. For 2011, t equal to 1. For 2012, t equal to 2. For 2013, t equal to 3 and so on. We show the calculation just for one year. You must show the calculation for each and every year. Calculation of train values for each year can be shown as follows. Here we have taken only one year for the year 2011 t equal to 1. This value is t. t equal to 1. Right? Therefore 28.4 plus 3.2 into 1. 3.2 into 1 means 3.2. Addition of these two quantities 31.6 lakhs of rupees. Now also we have to estimate. See. This calculation must be shown, this working must be shown for each and every year 2011 to 2015. Then then you can obtain this. See, y cap equal to a plus b in the last column. It is known as trade value. This is required. Now trade value for the required year, estimate the same means estimate the trade value for this year 2017 for the asking means given year. Right? For the year 2017, y cap t 28.4 plus 3.2 10 t, here t equal to 7. Why t equal to 7? For 2011, t equal to 1. For 2012, t equal to 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. For the 16, it is t equal to 6. For 2017, n equal to, or t equal to 7. t equal to 7. See, t equal to 7. Simplify. 28.4 multiplication of these two quantity 22.4 ultimately the answer will be y cap t rupees 5015.8 5015.8 lakhs of rupees this is the estimation for the required year 2017 see once again I tell you that this is one of the most important method the least square method Fitting of straight line train, the title must be given above the table. Fitting of straight line train by the method of least square. So, table also must be given good title that your presentation become very nice and easily marks can be obtained. So, be practice well, practice very well from our textbook, illustration example, exercise example. PDF file, board papers, etc. You will get a better idea. So do practice very well. Okay, see you. Thank you everybody. Thank you very much.